Uh, my name is Duncan McKenzie. I've been in Telluride for three years. I'm an artist. When you walk up to the sundial, um, what you want to do is stand on the current month. When you're standing on the current month, your shadow casts across a set of two numbers. They're two different colors um, for standard and daylight savings time. So whatever color of the stone is that you're standing on, that's what color number you use. So you just come stand on a month, you look where your shadow falls, and you read the time. And that's what time it is. This location here on the main plaza is the sunniest location and the logical place for a sundial. Putting it on paper um, involved getting the exact mathematical coordinates for our latitude and longitude. We put the coordinates into a CAD program, enlarged it, had it printed out on large pieces of paper, and I then made a wooden template. And that's how I started getting the mathematical coordinates translated into something physical. So it took a lot of work. We had to cut the bricks out of the plaza, remove them, prepared the ground underneath them to put in these cobblestones and all of these uh, cut and sandblasted granite pieces that I had made specifically for the months and the numbers. Uh, two people involved, uh, myself, my good friend Nigel Strafford. You know, we look like a bunch of construction workers out here. You know, we like people to think of us as artists, but I know we just look like a bunch of construction workers during that part. It took the two of us, yeah, I'd say two weeks of about 10 hour days because we really needed to come and just put it in. We couldn't just have it be an open construction project. We had to open it up and finish it because it's in such a main plaza. This is the first public piece I've made like this, the first interactive piece I've made, the first piece of the scale that I've made. So it was a bit nerve wracking and yet I had confidence in all of the work that was done. The most fun part I think is finishing it, seeing it realized and watching it being used and interacted with. It's fun to see what time it is with your shadow. It's fun to see time with the sun. And these are just some of the sort of the rhythms of that we don't use that much anymore. So this is to offer an opportunity to interact in a different way than you would in this location. It teaches you a lot about orientation, um, not only of north and south, all the simple directions, but of, of, about the sun. And so the sundial is one experience you can have of global awareness being your location on the earth as, one, as your reference point to the rest of the world.